Welcome back. Uh, so in this session, we will see uh, more about the protractor with cucumber. So in our previous couple of uh, video series, we have seen how to implement BDD, what is the benefit of BDD, how exactly a cucumber uh, looks like and more into the Gherkin syntaxes we have seen with a few of the examples like scenario and scenario outline with the test data handling. So in this uh, session, we will see the actual practical implementation of the uh, stuff, whatever we learned. So basically, we will try to implement a page object model with protractor and cucumber with our existing framework okay so regarding the page object model it will not change uh, a search but uh, yes we have to change few of this stuff in the page object model but yes uh, it shouldn't be a big deal but we will see how we can uh, what do you call get the page object model or the page actions into the cucumber uh, step definition file so that is what we will be seeing today so let's get started okay so as you would have seen in our uh, uh, what you call jasmine framework which we were using so there we were uh, taking kind of uh, what you call the before each function before all functions so that is ma uh, mainly required if you want to do anything set up uh, prior to the test run so the same thing cucumber provides because as i already told that cucumber is also kind of a unit testing framework in terms of bdd so we will see that so for that what i will do so under my existing the config folder where we have the reporter and the loggings i will uh, have to add another file that is hooks so this hooks basically determines few of the uh, what you call before executing the uh, features or after executing the features what kind of uh, stuff we need to do that we can mention here so that I need not to repeat those things okay so for that first thing what I will do so before all now before all is something before executing all of your feature files okay or the step definition file so for that uh, the method is before all and here I will use async because we were uh, using async uh, from past couple of uh, sessions, right? So I will use that. So this is basically the before all method. Now inside this, what we need to do, we need to get the uh, URL because that's what the first thing, right? Like your browser should be launched with the application under test. You need to uh, render that. So for that, what I will do, I will say that await and then I will say browser dot and then I will say get and under this I will put the actual URL that I'm going to test. So for that what we will do we have already that in our test data right so that is nothing but if you see in our test data folder under that we have uh, cust.ts that is nothing but the site URL. So this is my actual application that I'm going to render. So what I will do I will keep this one here. Okay so for this what I will do instead of hard coding here what I can do I can access that particular variable so for that what I can do let app equal to require and then I will have to import that particular test data so and here that is under test data and then CUST right now here if I say oops semicolon and here I will say app dot site URL so this will basically launch my URL with the application uh, with the browser that i'm going to test okay so that's basically this before all method so first thing this will do and then it will enter into the feature file execution okay so there is another method that is after actually so this after will execute after executing all your feature files so each scenario that you are going to run it so after each of the execution of the feature file or the exactly that scenario or scenario outline it will give you that uh, I mean this after statement will execute that whatever we will write under this so here we can use this after for logging the uh, screenshots because basically what happens let's say that if your scenario got failed one of the scenario from the feature that got failed then we need not to like take a screenshot in the script itself rather we can put it here so that what it will do so what we are going to do here we will 
basically check whether that scenario is passed or failed if it is passed i don't need that screenshot if it is failed then i need to have that screenshot as i told in the uh, previous sessions that uh, cucumber has that option to embed that screenshots into the cucumber report so that is what we are going to see so for that what i will do so uh, i will have to put a sync and here i will say scenario okay and this scenario will be any and then here i will create a method this is my short notation right and then here i will say that if this scenario if the scenario dot result dot status so this will basically give me if the scenario is passed or failed so equal to status dot and i will check whether it is failed or passed because as i told if it is failed then only we need to have that uh, attach that screenshot right so this should be i think capital s okay so for this i need to here import that particular status constant and here i will say status equal to and i will say require and then i will say cucumber that is the library that we have installed right fine okay so now the error is gone and this should be a close parenthesis a close bracket now here i need to attach that screenshot so for that what i will do first i will take this screenshot so here there is a command browser command so i can say this is protractors default and i can say browser dot take screenshot and this is a method okay so now after i have taken this screenshot i have to attach it so what i will do constant i can take some constant here and then i will say buffer so there is a alloc yeah alloc method is there and if you see under this i can give whatever parameter so that is nothing but the screenshot that i'm i have taken in the previous line and here so this is just to remember the syntax so screenshot dot length and then the actual screenshot and then i will put that as a base 64 format okay so that's all about this now once i am uh, i'm keeping that into the buffer then i need to attach that into the scenario so this scenario will be basically the cucumber scenario in the report i am going to attach this one and here the image uh, that i have taken the screenshot and then the format that format would be like if you see here image slash img format okay so that's all about the syntax for the and it's not limited that you need to only attach the screenshot you can do whatever you want like you can just say that uh, in uh, i mean irrespective of whether it is pass or fail i want to take a screenshot or else i want to close the browser something or else let's say that you want to uh, disconnect the database or else you want to nullify few of the objects that you're creating so you can use that in the after so that you need not to write each scenario end that you take that screenshot like that okay now the way we have before all the same thing we have something called as after all okay so after all as the name suggests this will be like exactly end of uh, your execution all the features once it will run after that this particular uh, after all will be executing so this is basically we can say that uh, quitting the browser or closing that browser And here I will just say browser dot quit as simple as that. Okay, and this quit should be a method. That's it. So it's pretty simple. Again, after all, it's not limited to just uh, quitting the browser. You can use whatever you want. Let's say that uh, you want to close the uh, database at the end of all the execution. Instead of repeating that in your script, you can just uh, keep it in the hooks. So that makes your code cleaner actually. Okay, so that's pretty much uh, into the hooks okay now the next thing we will see uh, the feature because we have already seen a sample feature file right so the same thing we will try to replicate with our application that we are uh, uh, using from past couple of uh, sessions right so what i will do i will okay under the features i will say new file and here i will say customers i will show you that application as well customers dot feature 
okay in this i will put that feature but before going to that let me show you that application so this is the basically the application that we are uh, we were testing so the same thing i will use even for the uh, cucumber with bdd as well so we will go to the bank manager uh, button we will click that so we are coming into the manager uh, screen after that we'll click on add customer here we will enter few of the test data and then we'll click on add customer so here what we will do we will take two setup data because that's where actually we can uh, what you call practice the scenario outline with examples where a particular setup code will repeatedly running based on the uh, rows right uh, number of rows in the test data so that is what we are going to see then what we will do we'll go to the open account and select that particular customer which we have created in the add customer and we'll process it okay that is the basic procedure we will use it so let's see that now let me close this browser okay so we have already this page object is there right like if you see uh, we have this add customer page home page is there manager page open account page okay so these are the uh, basic page objects that we were using if you are not sure about this page objects you can go back to the my previous sessions and then you can get idea about uh, how we have designed this page object model so let's get started so for this cucumber i have have already a setup uh, scenarios let me copy paste that real quick so here is my feature file uh, don't worry about that it's giving few of the error because we have not implemented but let me quickly explain this scenarios so first scenario as I told we will be adding two setup test data into the add customer screen so for that what I am doing given user is on a home page we will implement that then user will click on add customer and will add this particular test data first row then it will repeat again for the second set of test data that's where the scenario outline with examples are coming right now once these two scenarios will be executed the third scenario would be and this will execute only once only because it is scenario right so for that what I am doing I will go to the open account page after that I will select the customer now this customer I can have two set of data but for just for quicker uh, it, uh, what you call session I have kept only this particular particular first name and last name which I can select in the add uh, open account and then I will take the currency as a rupee and then I will create that account that's what we will see this particular uh, what you call test steps we have already done in our previous uh, sessions in the so let me show you so if you go to the bank manager test dot uh, ts file the spec file we have already done those things but now we are just converting this particular uh, what you call spec file into the cucumber uh, step definition files okay so let me create a step definition file as well so under my step def I will create create a new file new file and I will give customers I'll give the same name so that it will be understandable and this is my this will be my dot ts file okay so for quicker access uh, let me keep the basic setups so here uh, this is pretty much similar to the previously what we have learned in the page object model so I'm just importing all the uh, what you call pages from the uh, page object uh, pages uh, folder into here and then here something you will see one new thing that is uh, this expect so we will not be using the expect from the jasmine framework rather we will use the chai library so if you would have seen in our uh, cucumber series on the first part we have installed a library if I go to the package.json you will see this chai so we will not be using the jasmine's uh, what do you call the uh, expect statement because or the assertion because that is uh, not resolving with the promises and cucumber uh, for with cucumber we use chai for the assertions or verifications so if you go to the chai.js web page then you will see all the assertion methods that are available it's pretty much same just you need to have one line of code at the beginning like constant expect equal to required chai dot expect now you can use this expect object to uh, assert whatever you want okay and then the rest things are as usual 
like I have this log file uh, which we have used and these are just the uh, what you call creation of object from the pages if so now we will see the actual step definition creation okay so now let's see the feature file what is the first statement if you go to the customers feature so here it says given I am on XYZ home page okay so now if I go here what I will do here I will say given statement okay so under this I will copy paste that particular the step here okay and then I will put a dollar comma a sync we are using and then method okay so under this I will write all the required statements so first thing is that first I need to verify whether I am on main page or not okay okay so I will say home page dot navigate to home page so for that if you see here do we have okay we don't have so here what I can do I can create one another method a sync and I will say navigate to home page okay because I have to repeat this one right in that so that's why I'm creating this one so for this what I will do I will create one home object and I will say new page element and here I will give so if I go to that application let me go to that application so if you go to this one this is the one so if you inspect here and you will see the the button text is home right so that's what we are going to see do actually so here I will say by dot button text and here I will say capital H O M E okay now this is what I will click it now here if you go I will say await this dot home dot click okay and this is what we have already seen in our uh, way right this page element if you go to this is my magic page element dot ts file where I can get all my uh, user actions actually the element actions okay Oops, what happened okay uh, so where is my home page so here is that right now this is what I will call in my customer.ts step definition file so if I control space and here you can see navigate to the home page okay so this is this will be my first statement now here what I can do I can expect something so like let's say I can say that await and I will say expect and now expect means I need to get first the uh, what you call main heading now if you see here in this application this is nothing but my XYZ dot bank right so that is what I can expect it so for that what I will do home page dot if you see something main heading dot get text so this will give me the particular uh, what you call text that is nothing but the get text and this accepts a parameter I can say just main header text and here what I will do I will put the statement that is nothing but a two dot equal so this is one of the way to uh, assert actually that one now here I will put that x y z space bank okay so this is one of the assertion I can give so th this is all about the given statement now if you see the next is then statement right now here again it's the same thing let's copy paste the second line I go to the add customer screen now add customer screen means add customer screen so that is nothing but you need to click on the bank manager so that is what we will be doing here now in the then statement I will keep this okay so here I will write I go to the customer uh, screen right so for that what I will do first I need to go to the uh, add customer right so bank manager now where is the bank manager if you see here this is nothing but the bank manager screen that is under home page so what I will do again await home page dot navigate to the bank manager login okay so this is my first screen I will go now after this what I will do I will have to go to the add customer screen so what I will do and add customer is if you see under here actually navigate to add customer that is in manager page so intentionally if you see here I did not uh, create an object of the manager page because I wanted to show even we can do in this way also so new manager dot and here I will say navigate to the add customer 
okay if because i just want one uh, what you call method from that manager page so i didn't do i didn't create that object from there but if you want multiple uh, lines of code for that you can use that manager equal to new manager you can do that so this is one of the way now okay so now my second step implementation is done now let's see the third implementation now if you see here the third implementation is this statement right now i enter first name last name postal code to create the customer so this is what i'm going to use this so here i will keep this one and then as usual dollar slash and then i will say a sync and here i need to pass three parameters right so that is my first is f name and then l name and then the postal code okay so here the thing is that instead of this i will use a regular expression we have already seen that in our previous session right so let me copy paste that one so this is my regular expression so if i go here instead of this i can use all as regular expression here so whatever the value will be there that will be falling under here under these parameters okay okay so here what i will do okay one more parenthesis okay so here i have to write the logic actually to enter everything now if you see here let's see where is the add customer uh, stuff is written now if you see here actually so in our previous sessions we have uh, used to get the data from the uh, what do you call from the test data like .ts file now at this moment we don't want to get it from .ts file rather we want to get it from the feature file because we have this test data already so for that what I will do instead of utilizing the same method I mean I can utilize that but uh, unfortunately uh, like TypeScript doesn't support the method overloading so for that I have to create another uh, what do you call method actually there is one way actually in TypeScript where in one method only i can pass the parameter and i will say if the these parameters are null then you use it if the parameters are there you do another uh, way of handling that but that could be complicated so that's why at this moment i'm just showing how we can get this stuff done with uh, different methods so for easy access i'm creating here now if you see here i will create quickly these parameter names And instead of this dot first name, what I will do, I will use these things here. So like this I can use and the rest things will remain same actually after it will enter all the data here it will click on the add customer screen wait for one second and then handle that alert okay that's what we are going to do so quickly let me access this one so await and this is under add customer right so add cust page dot small add customer under this i need to send all the parameters so f name then l name then postal code okay that's it now here this is only one statement here now sometimes this then will be giving me an error so for this what i'm doing i will put a expect statement actually so i will just say expect true two dot equal this is just for uh, understanding because sometimes if you don't have any expect statement uh, the cucumber can throw some error actually so you can have an expect like after cre after clicking on the add customer button that uh, di uh, alert is coming or not you can verify that okay so this is about the first scenario now what will happen if you see this feature file i have three lines right given then and then okay so this will repeat three times it means that these three methods will run repeatedly but the data will be only different here that is what we are going to see okay so before running this let's implement the rest of the features this is uh, the simple one just four lines so okay so now let's implement the rest of the feature files uh, that is so given i am on account page now here what i will do for easy access let me copy this given statement here and then after this i will have the then right then i can just put here now in this given statement i have to copy this one right i am on open account page so here if i go and there is no parameter so for this given statement i am on account page right so this is nothing but again on the manager so this is nothing but my manager page so await new manager 
page and then this is a method dot and if you see here there is something open account right method it is already written so i am utilizing that one the next then statement so i am on account page so i went to the account page here then the next is that when statement right i select customer name as customer okay so here what i will do i will put it here and then this is not the parameters right this is the table actually we have this table so that is what i'm going to use it now if you see here this is nothing but a table now that's what we will now read that table in here okay so for this even i can use when because i copy pasted from the before right now here what you can do given when you can do that okay so that the error will go now here i will read that so for that what i will do table dot hashes we have already seen in our previous sessions about how we can use the hashes now this what i will do i will keep it into a variable let's say rows okay so under this i am keeping this one now i have to read now if you see i have only one row only that is nothing but the key is customer name so what i can do directly i can create a var and then i will say name equal to rows and this is my first row right so i can say first index and if it is if you have multiple rows then don't give the index hard coded you can put a for loop we have seen in our previous session you can follow up that one and then i will put that exact key actually so this is nothing but the this one okay now this will give me the exact name i will be selecting from the from this drop down actually okay that let me close this one so after you save all the first name last name and postal code first name space last name will appear here you have to select that then select a currency and then process it that's what we are going to see here okay so if you see here my first name and last name is john and then Sheena. then here what i'm doing i am appending this one myself because i know what is the uh, what do you call it, expected uh, name will appear right so if this name is not found in that drop down then it will throw an error and we will say that application has some issues okay and then we can report it okay so now here what i will do i will take that name and i will select that now for selecting we have an option actually so for that if you go to this open account page so here we have something select customer if you see this is a hard coded because in our previous sessions we have used taken this one from a test data but here now i have to take it from the uh, what do you call cucumber test table right so what i will do again the same way i will say select a customer and i will pass a name here and i will say string so here what i will do i will say await and i have this uh, name right this customers is there so i will use the same thing this dot customers oops sorry this should be a sync and then await and here i will say customers dot if i say select by option text right and this is what again the magic of the page element i will show you that but so i will select just the name that's it and it will automatically select now from where this select element is coming this is our user defined method if you would have seen this is our user defined method okay so now let me save this one so here i will say or did i save that one open account page select a customer right so here i will go and i will say uh, this is what method open account right so open account dot and i will say select a customer so if you see this is the first one and here you can see it is accepting a name so if i put enter method and then the name so this name is coming from this table we are reading that so that name i will put it here that's it okay now i have selected that customer the second thing is that i will have to select that uh, currency so for that i have already created that so this is again another way of getting the data like if you have only one data so what you can do i select the currency as rupee and here also we can say i select customer name instead of this i can put a uh, in double quote i can put this name actually but just wanted to show you the usage of data table with the page object model so here what i will do i will say then and then i will have to again so let me do one thing copy paste and then update it so here this and is there right so i will say like this and i will copy this one 
oops one okay and instead of rupee what i can do i can put that regular expression so this regular expression i can use there so instead of this i can say this one and here only one will go so let's say currency and because only one parameter let me delete all of these parameters now this is very straightforward because uh, uh, what i can do we have this open account if you see here we have already written a method that is select a so select dollar is there we don't have select dollar is again a hard coded right so if i go here if you see this one this is a hard coded one but i can do like this so a sync and then i will say select a currency select a currency so this will be a becoming a dynamic the same thing i will pass a string from the step definition file and then i will say here await and i will say this dot currency the way we have meant mentioned the customers right the same thing we will put currency dot select by option text and the name that we will be getting that simple actually now this is again coming from the page element.ts file now here if i control space i will see the selected currency will accept a parameter that is nothing but the name uh, is that name okay currency that name is that parameter is the parameter has to be correct or else it will give you an error okay so i select a currency now this line is done and this is very straightforward then statement so i can just uh, copy this one and then i will put here and then copy paste this line and i should click on the process button i think for process button we have already the method i can directly use there is no parameter so if you where is the process that should be an open open account so if you see here we have this process it right so i can do one thing here instead of this i will say process it okay process it method and this doesn't accept any parameters fine okay so we have implemented all the uh, what do you call all the steps from this scenario outline and scenario so if everything goes well it should execute so before running this test let me change the config.ts file because it is redirecting to the sample dot feature right so instead of that this should re redirect to the customers dot feature file right okay okay so let's run this test npm run test and before to this i already have started the selenium server so here you can see okay so now let me run this test okay so there is some problem let's see what is that uh, okay so it clicked on first name last name postcard uh, postcode but it did not click the add customer so let me go back to the step definition file so here is my add customer if i go to the definition file okay here i think we didn't give the await so let's give one by one sometimes if you don't give await uh, the promise will not return properly and then the sequence of execution might miss so let's run it again npm run test So if you see this is my ad customer it created and also it given the uh, alert also but there is some problem with the alert click actually so let me go to the verify close alert uh, okay so this is again one more problem as i told uh, like the existing this is my jasmine uh, frameworks expect actually so that's why that will not work so for this what i will do i will copy paste this one so this is the syntax and then i will have to go to the util and here what i will do i will say expect and then instead of this expect i will have to write expect this is my chai.js expect so alert text 
and then two contain is not there so two dot include is there include then the text okay now let's run it again okay so as you can see uh, there were uh, three scenarios because how three scenarios if you go to the feature file let me go to the feature file so one is actually this set of uh, this is first uh, feature I mean first first scenario of the first row of data again it is repeating that is my second scenario and the third scenario is this one actually so that's how it is saying three scenarios and if you see it says that uh, 10 steps if you see here 10 steps it is telling now 10 steps how it is 3 again it is repeated so 3 3 6 plus 4 so 10 steps that's what it is telling and now if you uh, if I go and see the report then let me open that report so here you can see the complete report here now first thing add customer two times it executed and then if you see the third step and here uh, so this didn't execute actually uh, so where is let me go to the step definition file and if you go here okay so this is the uh, okay so the problem is that here if you see I have this uh, double quotes right so what I can do I can put this one into the double quote then I will get the exact currency so what it used to have uh, what it happened is that it is not matching to this so this feature the description whatever it is there is not matching to this method description like as I told before the method description has to exactly match to the step so now let's execute this test case again okay so here you can see 10 steps got passed okay and you can see even the account also got created you are getting that now if you want to confirm that with the report let me open that report i'm in the same folder let me refresh it as you can see here all the three scenarios got passed okay good that one step got failed and you have seen that report also but now if you see this complete report all the steps got passed so this is pretty much how you can handle the uh, cucumber with uh, page object model in protractor um, hope this helps so stay tuned for more updates on this series thank you